In today's video, I am going to talk about Patreon, which I, I will be truthfully honest with you, I am maybe just a little bit biased on. But once you understand why, you might even agree with me at some points. So let me start off with saying why I started to be biased towards it. And that is when a lot of creators who early adopted Patreon started to make certain videos unobtainable unless you were a Patreon. What am I getting at? Well, let's say I do an unboxing video of this iPhone right here, which as you can see, it says generating preview. I unbox it and say, well, if you want to see the review of this product, head over to my Patreon page and become a patron. And that'll unlock the video for you. That seems very cheap, in my opinion, the way that people are just using their content to run a pay-per-view channel. Now, a lot of the creators that used to do this no longer do that, which is a good thing, because that shouldn't be the case. But now there's other things that they do, like, oh, well, if you want to be at the end of my credits on a video, go to my Patreon page, and your name will appear in the list of credits of thanking people of who gave me money. That's, that's basically what you did just to get on the credits. Or in case of gameplay, well, especially Minecrafters that I've noticed, well, if you give this much, I will put your name on a sign. And if you give this much, I'll put your name on a sign and put a gold block or item stand or, or an armor stand, excuse me, with different types of armor showcasing what you gave. Okay, but what happens when you delete that world? Do you start all over? And some of the rewards people, oh, well, when I hit $20, I'm buying a pizza. Well, that's, that's just eating. Why would I give you $20 so to hear about you getting a pizza? No, 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 like with me. If someone were to donate money to me and say I needed, I don't know, $100, I'd buy something that'd benefit this, what I'm doing right now. I'd buy a bigger monitor if I could. And that would also generate free income because it'd be a free video on my channel. But I won't ask for that because to me, you're not really getting anything in return for that. Not like, say, a t-shirt. Someone opens up a Spreadshirt store and says, well, hey, buy my merch. Now you get something and I get something in return. I'm actually considering doing that because at least then you're getting something when you give me money. You're getting an actual physical product. Now, and of course, I would thank you if I knew who you were. You know, if you send me a picture on Twitter, which I am on Twitter, I'll put a link in the description below. I will thank you for that because you are supporting me. I'll put a, if you take a picture with you wearing it, I'll put it in my, my feed as well. I'll even put a video up of it. I, you know, I'll do something cheesy if I have to. I'll be the little, the little organ grinder monkey with the, the cup and the fez. Like I said before, you know, do to do to do, but it's not that I'm being, you know, heartless and not being thankful for it. I would be, but it's the fact that you're actually getting something for what you pay for you are getting something in return. You're showing support and in turn, I'll show support to you as being someone who actually likes what I'm doing. The it, Really, I mean, that's what it boils down to. Like, in, it, like I said, in gameplay terms, you see a lot of Minecrafters doing this. Well, you'll get the right, the right, the privilege, the privilege of chatting with me on Discord or Skype. You'll get the honor, oh, that, that precious honor of being part of my private Patreon server, which I may or may not ever show up on maybe twice a year. You know, these types of things are what I feel are making it kind of pointless to Patreon. But then it started to click when I was looking at this, the, the new advertiser stuff and more importantly, what's happening to small YouTubers is what's happening, what's going to happen, I should say, 
to the bigger channels who use Patreon and stuff like, and stuff of that accord. And that is, they might lose their AdSense as well because YouTube does not get a portion of that money. Let's back up a little bit to yesterday's video. What you get, obviously, you know already. But here's the more important thing. What you're not getting. And that would be you're not getting monetization, which YouTube takes money out of. And you're not getting Super Chat, which again, YouTube takes money out of. So let's do this. If YouTube says, well, wait a minute, why are they linking to to Patreon and we're not getting money for that? Why should we be allowing that? And it actually comes down to their own or their own rules for AdSense. And when I'll link the site below, using third-party sites and tools as part of AdSense. Embedding third-party, this is the second one on that line, embedding third-party advertising sponsorships or promotions placed on or within video content. And that's the key, the video, adding it into video content. To me, even the description is considered content of your video. If YouTube really wanted to, and I, I honestly think they are going to start doing this in about eight months to a year, maybe a little longer, whenever that next big thing that grabs media attention comes out, you're going to see YouTube say, well, wait a minute, if you're running this or this and we're not a part of it, you're losing your AdSense, your Super Chat, uh, sponsorships through us. If you're a preferred partner, you're losing that, so you're no longer getting that benefit of it. And basically what you're going to end up with is YouTube becoming what it used to be where there is no AdSense sharing. There is no, no dividing line. And then it comes down to the users, or well, the viewers. Do I want to watch content that's made and they're not asking for money? Or do I want to watch content, the same content, but that user isn't asking for money? They're just doing it to do it. And I, once this happens, I, I honestly feel a lot of big YouTubers are going to say, hey, see you guys later. Thanks for the fun. We're out. We're done. We're going to move on to something better. They might even start up a new video platform that caters to what they want. You know, like you can't make videos until you got 10,000 subscribers. Well, they can do that. That would be their choice. The ones you'll see then are the ones that really want to be here. The ones that want to express themselves, that want to make something fun and entertaining, yet at the same time, just interact with people. Now, there are ways around this, of course. You could link to your website or a web page that's yours. And on there, you, you could even say it on there. If you want to support me, here are things that I, I accept, you know. But see, YouTube's setting themselves up to where not only is it the stuff I listed before, there's fan uh, fan donations. It's on, on some YouTube pages right now. You click that, YouTube gets a portion, the, the creator gets a portion. You've got Super Chat. Creator gets a portion, YouTube gets a portion. I'm pretty sure the sponsorship's through YouTube. YouTube gets a portion, creator gets a portion. It's basically... YouTube's basically doing all these little things and they're eventually going to whittle down what you can do extra to make extra money. And that's going to start hitting all these big YouTubers when that next big thing hits. And like I said, I'm actually thinking of doing some merch. I want to do a shirt that says bad actor right on the front, you know, nice big logo. If you'd like that idea, let me know in, this, in, in the description, in the comments below. Because like I said, these videos, they're cathartic for me. I get to release some pent up rage, kind of, because I don't want to be angry. But I want to help out. Another video idea I've got in my head is, I want to show you how, like the thumbnails I've been using. I want to show how I make them, because they're goofy. They're fun. Um, you know, anything else that you could think of that I might be able to do, let me know. I'm gonna to try to do like vlogs, little vlogs of these every day if I can, provided that 
it's quiet in the house and the phone doesn't ring off the hook. And I can set my camera up the way I need it to. <laughs> this is not my third attempt of making this video, so who knows? But if you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me comments below. Thanks to all the new people who've subscribed. That really means a lot. You know, and the ones that are commenting, leave me good stuff. You know, telling me, hey, you're doing a good job. Thanks for the information. That's appreciated. I haven't seen any negative comments, so I can't thank you for those either. But hey, if you leave a negative comment, that's on you. And hey, thanks. At least you're watching the content and you're saying, hey, I don't know what you'd say if you left a bad comment, but if that's you, all right, thank you. I appreciate it because to me, I don't know you. So it doesn't affect me mentally at all. It, it makes you look bad, but not me. But with that being said, have fun, guys.